Hi, this video comes after a request and in it we're going to be making it so when we shoot our gun at our characters, they're going to begin to ragdoll. So I'm in the first person template and I've just downloaded this uh, ragdoll character off Mixima. So the first thing we're going to do is create our character. This can be the character which when we shoot, they are going to become a ragdoll. So if we just go into it, and in his mesh, you're going to want to select the skeletal mesh of the character you'd like to rag up and his animation blueprint. I just made a simple animation blueprint for our character just so that he can just walk around with those animations. So I'm just going to position him correctly. Okay, and then select his animation blueprint. And compile so everything goes down. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some pawn sensing so that this will just make it so that by default our character is just going to chase us when he sees us. And in my event graph, what I'm going to do is go to on event here, and then off other component, I'm going to cast to the first person projector because I'm in the first person template here. And after this, we are going to get our mesh and ragdoll. Okay, sorry, it's simulate physics, so we're going to want to set simulate physics on our mesh character when he's hit with our projectile. So you're just going to want to delete that and then plug this in and you want to click the simulate box. Simulate. And his capsule component, we're just going to destroy it after so that we can't collide with it after we've um, defeated our character. So, what's it called that? In his mesh, in his collision, he's going to want to set it so he can ragdoll, otherwise he won't be able to ragdoll. So we just look for it, ragdoll, and compile. So now when we shoot our player, he's going to ragdoll. Now we're just going to make it so that our player chases us by default. So if we go into our pawn sensing, which we made earlier, on C pawn, if we cast to our first person character, and then when we go AI move to, AI move to, just going to plug target actor into third person character and just plug that in and the pawn we're just going to get a reference to himself okay compile and let's just check if it all works so we just close that we're going to drag in our nav mesh bounds volume so that just allows our AI to walk around in this area and just drag it in and then we want to just position this accordingly so it covers the whole of your map Okay, so it seems that is done. So I'm just going to drag on our, like loads of our AI characters and just make it so they face our player by default. Just duplicate him. Just going to drag these all over the map. Okay. Uh, I found they're a bit fast, so I'm just going to set his speed to like 300 so we can easily run away from him. So now we get compile and play. When they run towards us, if we shoot, they are going to do ragdoll. So that is all. If you've enjoyed watching, uh, leave a like and if you have any ideas for videos, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.